What we're doing today, the work that we're putting in today, it will possibly revolutionize the industry five, 10 years down the road. Companies like GE Wind and Siemens and Vestas are looking at the technology that we're working on to help them bring down the cost of wind energy to build more efficient blades in the future and thus be more competitive in the marketplace with wind energy. And that's ultimately our goal. We want to commercialize this technology. In order to prove out some of the technology that we've been working on, we actually turned towards a nine meter blade, a blade that had the geometric features of a megawatt sized blade, of a blade that might be 30 or 40 or 50 meters long, but was nine meters in size. It's a great story of a team coming together to solve problems and achieving the goal of demonstrating what we can do on a larger scale with the ultimate goal of commercializing all of these different technologies. So for this nine meter blade, it really provided us with a, a great opportunity to gather up some of our IACME partners. All of these IACME partners have all come together to help make this blade a success. So this blade certainly has many innovations incorporated into the materials and the manufacturing of the blade. Arkema has produced an ilium thermoplastic resin system, and so this will be, in the United States, the first blade that we have made using a thermoplastic resin system. Ilium is definitely cutting edge. It's the first of its kind. There's no other liquid thermoplastic out there that can be processed like a thermoset but cures at room temperature. To give an example of how much faster it is, we did a shear web infusion using the Elium 188 system, and we were able to get a wet out of the entire part in about 30 minutes, and then we were able to demold and have the full strength properties in three hours, which is exceedingly fast compared to the thermoset materials. So a lot of the different learning process goes on uh, in this project that helps us advance the thermoplastic resin system, the Ilium thermoplastic resin system, towards commercialization with our industry partners. Also to go along with that, Johns Manville has come up with a specialized sizing, a coating on the fiberglass itself that works very well, that is compatible with this Ilium thermoplastic resin system. In order for the blade to have the strength and durability, the resin and the glass has to work really very well together. The load has to be able to transfer to the reinforcement component, which is the glass fibers. And oftentimes, the composite fails at the interface because load is not even transferred to the fiber. Our contribution comes to really develop a fiberglass with the specific sizing designed for helium resin. We believe this technology will have a, a lot of commercial significance for those OEMs. Another innovation of the blade is a protruded carbon fiber spark cap that uses the Oak Ridge National Laboratory's low-cost carbon fiber combined with the Huntsman polyurethane resin that was protruded at Strongwell Corporation. The larger and longer the blade gets, the more it needs very stiff materials, and carbon fiber becomes a more attractive material for very large blades. This is a nine meter blade. We'd never really use carbon fiber in a nine meter blade, but as a demonstration blade, we are exploring the use of this type of protruded carbon fiber that may scale up one day to a larger blade. One of the other innovations in this blade is using recycled PET foam as a core material. We partnered with a company called Creative Foam and they kitted some recycled PET foam core for us so then we could cut that and put it into our blade and have some already post-consumer recycled material in the blade itself. Right now, because all of these blades are made out of thermoset technology, you have these 55 meter blades and once they've reached their end of life, what do you do with them? Now if you start making this out of a thermoplastic material, you can take that blade, you can chop it up, and make chopped fiber reinforced composites so that can be used in another composites industry. We are looking to make recycling cost effective for wind turbine OEMs, for uh, wind farm owners, and not just be something that is good to do, but is also uh, a good business decision. It was a large project, very ambitious. So I knew coming into this project that we had a challenge ahead of us and there were many risks with the project. And then over the past three weeks, having all of those partners converge here in Colorado at the Comet facility, I've been so amazed and impressed by the success that we've had in infusing the blade and assembling the blade and, and producing a very innovative wind turbine blade to be on display at the members meeting here in Denver, Colorado. We have everybody 
coming from almost the entire ecosystem of the blade manufacturers. We have uh, material suppliers, blade manufacturers, universities and institutes, all these partners together. The synergy we have is much more powerful than what any individual company can do on their own. All of these people I need to work with in order to present a good package that I can take to an OEM and sell the material. I'm not just selling my product. We have to come all together as one group. So innovation and working together as a team is key and IACME helps enable that. Without the collaboration of the entire uh, team, this project would not have been successful. We really did everything that we did here in a very short time. Three weeks later, we have a blade. And it's really only a start. It's a start. We're showing what we can do here, but we have a lot of work to do. And so all that pride and all that excitement that our partners have, we're going to drive forward.